so hi today we will be discussing electronics engineers interview questions okay now in this series what we will be discussing is interview questions will be discussed based on scenarios now scenario is in the sense uh, job scenarios so now let's say we have a job opening for an xyz company for a post of electronics engineer then what will be the job description or what will be the roles and responsibilities that they will be having and based upon that what might be some important interview questions and uh, that will be discussed in this video and after that we will also discuss some general electronics engineer interview questions so stay around and let's start with the very first uh, scenario now here we have a scenario where the company has a job description which says we are looking for a talented and a motivated electronics engineer to join our team as an electronics engineer you will be responsible for designing testing and developing electronic systems and devices you will work closely with cross functional teams to ensure that our products are safe efficient and reliable okay so this is the basic job description from the company and based upon this same job description we have responsibilities from the company which are mentioned here there are five to six responsibilities mentioned here to design and develop electronic systems and devices and uh, test and evaluate prototypes to ensure that they meet the safety efficient efficiency and reliability standards collaborate with cross functional teams troubles troubleshoot and resolve issues and stay up to date with the industry trends and developments so these are the five responsibilities uh, required by the company and before th uh, we discuss the interview questions let's also discuss the requirements uh, that uh, basically any company would have so for this uh, this company the requirements should be uh, bachelor's degree in electronics engineering or related field uh, related field as in electronics or communication engineering or electrical engineering this might be some uh, related field okay now uh, some basic experience or no good knowledge in designing and developing electronic systems and design devices uh, will be a plus point and strong problem and analytical skills and excellent communication and interpersonal skills okay so uh, point 3 and point 4 uh, will uh, will not be the main criteria during the interview but this will be uh, the uh, this will be also an important aspect while you are working uh, for an, uh, any for any company so this might be some important skills so having some communication skills and problem solving skills will be important uh, if you are going to apply for a company and you should uh, work upon that if you uh, lack those skills okay so now let's discuss the interview questions which is the very first question we have is what experience do you have with the electronic circuit design and what is your process of designing circuits so simply uh, the first question they might ask uh, in terms of technical questions will be like what are the uh, electronic circuit designs uh, that you have created so far and uh, what is the process that you follow while creating a new design so the, uh, the answer should be in detail about whatever the circuits that you have created and what is the process that you follow and are there any steps that you follow or are there any, are there any prerequisites for that before uh, preparing any circuit or not or uh, uh, all of the details that you uh, that you have in mind you should be discussing all those but make sure that you have all the points listed out before uh, beforehand so that you you know what are the steps that you follow and it will be uh, easier for you to answer during this interview okay now moving on to the second question which is can you explain the difference between analog and digital signals and how they are used in electronic systems so the very uh, it is a very basic question which is analog and digital signals so it though it is uh, though it is very basic but still it is asked in a lot of interviews and also uh, it you are supposed to answer this in detail like what exactly is this analog and digital signals and uh, what do you understand about uh, these two types of signals and uh, how they are used in electronic systems so you should be able to answer this question uh, very easily and uh, in a practical manner as possible as much as possible okay then moving on to the third question which will be describe your experience with microcontrollers including programming and interfacing with peripherals so uh, if you have worked with microcontrollers you might know that we can program them 
but on not only program them we need to interface them with other peripheral devices to uh, make use of the controller right so that should be uh, if you have worked with the microcontrollers you would know uh, and you will be able to answer this question so if whatever the microcontrollers that you have worked with you have to list down those controllers and even based upon the controllers uh, you mentioned they might ask you some questions reg in regards to those microcontrollers and uh, you should be prepared for those as well so keep that in mind and uh, prepare yourself for this and then the next question comes uh, can you discuss the role of sensors in electronic systems and give examples of sensors types and direct applications so there are various sensors uh, that we can use and uh, there are n number of uses for uh, n number of sensors but uh, you should only answers or you should only mention those sensors which you know about or you have worked up with because they might uh, ask in detail about each and every sensor like for example if you have worked with an ultrasonic sensor then uh, they might ask the model name for that sensor and they might also ask in detail about the range of the ultrasonic waves for that sensor and uh, more you know they might also ask, ask in more detail like with which hardware have you interfaced that sensor with or with which controller have you interfaced uh, with and what was the uh, idea behind using that sensor or was the sensor needed actually for that project or not so there might be a lot of, lot of questions uh, that might come around after that as well so make sure that you are very well prepared with the uh, sensors that you have mentioned or uh, or sensors that you know about or have worked with but before that uh, you should simply mention what is the role of sensors in electronic systems because uh, the question is that right so firstly just answer that like uh, why is the sensors used or why do we need sensors in an electronic system and then mention the some of the sensors that uh, comes to your mind okay then what is the what is your experience with power electronics and how do you manage power consumption in electronic systems so this might be a very important question uh, during the interview and they might also uh, not only like uh, they might ask you this question they even they might there might be chances that they provide you hardware circuit and uh, ask you some questions with regards to that circuit and like uh, they might also ask you like how, how is the power distribution happening in this circuit or maybe uh, uh, uh some other example as well but uh, you should be prepared if you are applying for uh, this particular type of job roles okay because power electronics is a very major and important topic so then comes the next circuit uh, next question which is can you explain the concept of electromagnetic compatibility uh, and how it is impacting electronic design systems electronic system designs okay so you should be able to answer this as well because uh, not uh, a lot of questions uh, not a not, not a lot of companies ask this question but uh, it is not a very difficult topic or uh, not a very uh, un uh, understandable topic so you if you just um, go through it once and if you do not know it uh, you should be able to learn this in like not more than half an hour so it will be easy for you to learn and uh, you can just prepare yourself before the interview if you do not know what this EMC is and you can uh, answer this question okay then comes the seventh question which is what is your experience with PCB layout design and what considerations are important when designing a PCB so PCB designing is an important aspect and PCB layout designing is uh, uh is where we get stuck sometimes or is where we get uh we are getting most number of questions asked during the interviews so you will be if you have worked with pcb designing and uh, you have knowledge you will be able to answer these questions and they might uh still like once you answer uh, give a basic answer to this question then they might also cross question your answers and uh, you might be able have to answer those questions as well but whatever the answers you give for this question you should be prepared for the upcoming questions as well so make sure whatever you are answering this questions like or in whatever manner uh, you should know uh, that uh, those uh, things or you should be aware of those things and uh, be prepared for the upcoming questions as well okay 
and the next and the eighth question is can you discuss the role of a firmware in electronic systems and describe your experience with the firmware development so if you have worked with firmware development then uh, you might be able to answer this question this is very rarely asked questions but uh, based upon this job role uh, they might require you to know about uh, firmware development and since they will be asking you to design the whole product from uh, st uh, from 0 to 100 like from start to bottom so you should know about each and every aspect so firmware development is an important aspect as well so this for this ro job role they might ask you and if you are aware of this it will be very uh, good for you or it will be a much more important plus point for you uh, to get shortlisted for the further rounds okay then comes the next or ninth question which is uh, what is the understanding of safety standards and regulation for electronic systems and how do you ensure compliance with these standards okay so this is a very basic question but uh, still they are asking this types of questions because uh, like whenever you are designing or whenever you are creating products uh, electronic products uh, you should be aware of uh, some safety standards for that product or for that design as well and that uh, those safety standards should be followed uh, and based upon that they will ask you like uh, what are the safety standards and regulations uh, that you should keep in mind while designing a circuit or designing a product so make sure that you have uh, uh, an answer for this and if you have an example for this as well then it will be a very good uh, thing uh, they might be get they might get uh, impressed with you as well okay then the last question which is the tenth question is how do you stay up to date with the industry trends and developments in electronics engineering and what resources do you use to listen and grow your skills so simple question which is like how do you stay updated with the trends and uh, developments so you just have to answer this uh, by like whatever blogs or whatever resources or whatever articles that you study online offline or whatever books you read so you can just answer this uh, in that manner and uh, just tell them like how do you stay updated and like if there are any new tools that you have learned recently uh, new tools or new skills that you have learned recently then you can uh, tell them those as well that these are the recent skills that i have developed uh, to stay up to date in the market okay so these are the 10 questions which are related to this uh, particular job role uh, or job scenario okay and not only this Mm, technical questions might be asked but apart from that they might also ask you uh, questions which are related to soft skills or they might also check your soft, sk uh, soft skills like communication skills and problem solving abilities and uh, also a very important aspect is that they might also ask you uh, about your past projects like if you are an engineer so they might ask you about your final year projects or uh, any mini projects that you have uh, worked upon so they, they might ask you like if you have worked on any projects and uh, again they might uh, cross question you in detail about those projects as well okay and about uh, they might also test your behavioral skills uh, behavioral uh, skills like uh, work ethics or how motivated you are or are you willing to learn and adapt to new uh, environment or not so these are all uh, other things that they will be testing while while the interview okay now apart from this there are few more uh, questions that might be asked in general for any electronics job role okay so i'll just uh, show them on your screen and you might have a look around
so these are the technical interview questions that might be asked for electronics job role or electronics engineer role for a job scenario that was discussed earlier in this video now if in case you have any questions you can let us know uh, and uh, uh, yeah you can also check the link in the description for solutions to these questions that have been mentioned so you might find all the answers or more questions uh, as well for not only electronics engineer job role but different different role uh, through that link so check the link in the description okay thank you